Joining us now is one of the latest Notre Dame football players to have earned the moniker Consensus All-American, which is quite an honor. Liam Eikenberg started at left tackle for the Fighting Irish his final three seasons with the team. Welcome, Liam, to Notre Dame Day. How's it going? How are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Doing well. Doing well. Happy to be here in South Bend. Let's start back in high school. You grew up in the state of Ohio. You were a highly recruited student athlete. You had offers from just about everywhere. What led you to choose the Fighting Irish? Yeah, you know, Notre Dame has, you know, the opportunities on the football field and then also in the uh, classroom. So for me, it was about, you know, making a decision that would affect my life. And we always talk about, you know, four years for 40. And, you know, Notre Dame was just too great to pass up. It was just an opportunity I could have passed up. So definitely academics and then also the uh, tradition on the offensive line here. Pro Football Focus has let everybody know that you have not given up a sack of the quarterback over the last two seasons plus since week five of the 2018 season, playing against arguably some of the best competition in America. That is an incredible stat for a left tackle. What has been the key to this performance for you? Yeah, I think it has to do with uh, fundamentals and technique. You know, the way I was coached with uh, Coach Harry Heastan and Coach Jeff Quinn. Um, you know, I've had a great opportunity to, be, opportunity to be coached by great offensive line coaches. And then also having great guys in my room like Robert Hainsey, Tommy Kramer, Aaron Banks. So for me, it's, uh, it's about seeing everything through one set of eyes and, you know, just doing my job, going back to the fundamentals. You've certainly played in some great games during your years here at Notre Dame. What's the game you'll remember for the rest of your life? I would say uh, the Clemson game. You know, having the uh, students rush the field, I think that was something special. There is no unit on the football field of players who are more introspective or more demanding than the offensive line. So i got to ask you this question. What game would you like to have back? I would say maybe the uh, Alabama game this year. You know, I thought we were a great team this year, and uh, we just didn't finish the season correctly. So, for uh, for me and probably the rest of the guys, would be this this uh, Rose Bowl we played in against Alabama. Now, since that Rose Bowl game, you've been training for the NFL draft. Can you take us through this process? Which agent did you sign with? Where did you choose to train these past few months before coming back to South Bend? And what has surprised you the most about this training experience? Yeah, so I signed with Tommy Condon Jr. with CAA Sports. Uh, they represent a lot of offensive linemen from Notre Dame, such as Zach Martin, Mike McGlinchey, Quentin Nelson. And, uh, you know, after the season, I went home for a couple of days, and I ended up flying out to uh, Phoenix in Arizona. And I was at a facility called Exos, and I was just training to get ready for the combine, which in the end ended up getting canceled. And then so I was just training for pro day. And, uh, you know, it was a great opportunity. It was cool going out there, you know, meeting a lot of different people from a lot of different backgrounds and different areas of, of the country. Uh, but at the same time, you know, I'm happy to be back here at Notre Dame with uh, some of my teammates and, you know, training together. Now, can you walk us through uh, the NFL draft process so far in terms of pro day, your visits with teams, your conversations with representatives of teams and so forth? Yeah, so, I mean, basically what's happened is there's no combine, like I said. Um, we had Pro Day a couple weeks ago, and I was scheduled to go down to Indianapolis for um, the combine, which is strictly medical. Um, it was pretty much just medical evaluations and just getting checked out, doing MRIs and scans. Unfortunately, I had COVID, so I wasn't able to go. Um, and then, so now, you know, I've just been having Zoom meetings, and I had Zoom meetings before uh, Pro Day, before the combine stuff. Um, you know, unfortunately this year, you know, we're dealing with a pandemic and uh, I'm not able to visit with teams in person. So I've just been having phone calls and Zoom calls. Now, I know it was a great honor for you to play at Notre Dame and wear that gold helmet. Now, when you look back at your five years as a Notre Dame student athlete, what would you tell the top offensive line recruits and their parents uh, in this country right now about what the experience of playing at Notre Dame is like? I think it's like nothing you'll you'll have the opportunity to do elsewhere. Um, you know, coming to Notre Dame, you're obviously going to play against some of the best, you know, defensive linemen in the country and best defenses. So for me, you know, to those guys, I would say, you know, just don't think about that guy telling you you're going to start as a freshman because if you want the truth, you're probably not. You know, it's very rare. Um, but, you know, coming here, I think you're going to develop not only as a football player, but as, as a person. You know, Notre Dame is going to round you 
into a whole person. So for that, you know, those guys in high school just kind of think about the future. It's not, it's not about the next coming year. Liam, congratulations on a great career and certainly the karma surrounding uh, Notre Dame left tackles is pretty good. Uh, under Brian Kelly, there have been a bunch of left tackles. In fact, every left tackle who has started for Coach Kelly has been drafted in the first round, and we think that lies ahead for you, so I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it.